Hello Pixels, my name is Chaos and today I'm reviewing the Conveyor Oven mod. Now this mod is a Japanese mod on Japanese Minecraft forums, but it's a great mod and I definitely recommend it for anyone who's trying out some neat mods and you know the Japanese forum is uh, home to a lot of amazing mods and I'm going to review some mods off of there from now on. Anyways, uh, what this mod will basically do is take any kind of item that goes into a furnace and cook it along the way on this conveyor belt. Now cool thing is the conveyor belt can be used for many multi-purpose things. Uh, the cool th another cool thing is if you do have a chest at the end of the um, you know conveyor belt, all the items will go into it. So really, it's uh, it's a helpful one. And that was a complete utter fail. But anyways, if you as you can see, it does go into the chest. Now let's take that and I'll show you guys how to make the conveyor belt really quickly. Let's take that away. And uh, you basically need six iron ingots, two redstone, and one furnace. Put the furnace in the middle and just do this what I'm doing here and just make a sandwich out of the iron and put the redstone in the middle so it's like basically the topping and there you go you have the conveyor oven now a cool thing is on when you're replacing it uh, be careful on the way you place it because if you are sideways you know it will it'll make you go sideways so this will make us go backwards if I place it like this it will go that way so we'll get to the middle and get stuck uh, I am in survival so as you can see I am breaking it with one hit um, so you can break it with one hit which is really neat but I do recommend you use a uh, pick because you can reclaim it then and it is pretty you know it is pretty um, costly to make with all the iron and uh, the you know redstone if you f they're pretty hard to find but uh, you know it's a very helpful mod you could use it for mob grinding and so many other stuff also uh, if you do want to fuel the uh, the actual conveyor belt you're like hey chaos how do we actually fuel it like we want to have fire on it and blah 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 Basically what you can do is take lava or coal or charcoal, whatever can fuel a furnace you can use in this. And basically as you can see it does fill up and there's a little fire animation on top which is really cool. I do recommend you use lava because you know it just gives you so much more and it's a lot longer. You don't get the bucket unfortunately but uh, you do get that prolonged effect and if you do stand on it you do get burned and this works with mobs as well so if you are mob grinding you can have it right in the middle so they would get cooked their pork chop would drop and it would go into your little chest it's a really cool little feature anyways uh look at me bud my burn is amazing anyways um as you can see i do have a couple of items set up in my inventory i have fish i have diamond ore if you do use silk touch you'll be able to get diamond ore if you're wondering and i do have sand and some clay uh, I'll actually get, show you guys uh, how this works. So basically, you can just go ahead and drop it in, and that was a fail. Shit. But uh, you can basically drop it in, and it will center itself, which is really cool. And uh, you know, once it's going along the belt, it will slowly cook itself. You will see soon enough it will cook. There you go. When it cooks, it bounces, and then it goes into there. Don't worry about it falling out because it won't. Anyways, uh, let's just drop a couple more stuff in. Sometimes it doesn't cook if you do drop it really close. So make sure you have a bit of space before you do drop it. Because, um, you know, you got to give it some time to cook. Uh, diamond and uh, iron shouldn't really take too much. So I don't think the iron cooked. So one did, but one didn't. But uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the mod. It just uh, takes the item, cooks it there, the glass and the diamond, and the iron should be cooking soon. Um, that's that's basically it. It's a very neat mod. You do you can use dispensers. Sometimes it did go a little glitchy for me. Like when I did throw, what happened is the item fell through. So basically, it didn't cook. I had to break the conveyor belt, grab it, and then you know actually um, uh, reinsert it onto the belt, which kind of did suck. Was a disappointment for me, but disappointment. <laughs> it was a disappointment for me, but it's a great mod overall. I definitely recommend it for anyone who's trying out something cool and a cool another thing you guys should keep in mind it's not really cool but uh, if you do break it you do lose the actual um, you know fuel source that was already in it just letting you guys know um, but anyways definitely check out the mod the link will be down in the description make sure you use Google Translate if you're not Japanese luckily I do understand a bit of Japanese so it wasn't really that hard for me to find but use Google Translate it will help you out uh, finding the mod and uh, this mod is the uh, conveyor oven mod. My name is Chaos, and I will see you all later. Oh, look at the sun. The sun is amazing. Give it a lick. Fuck, I burned my tongue.